all of used to say li li yaga rek digala after all 19 years is not nine is not 19 days or 19 months this i'm telling you the people who are who were born during that time voted this past election that shows you that the vision and that mission of his excellency is a reality is in him and this why we crawl up crawl and now we are standing uh July 22nd revolution 1994 i could honestly remember that before the night there was some kind of regime change I mean on the eve of the of the 22nd yes, of course because then you know f- uh, i'm from telling there you know we have i have so many soldier friends the day jawara was coming to the gambia i could vividly remember one of my cousins who was a staff sergeant then came and said some of our soldiers are disarmed at the airport and jawara did not even make uh, you know a god of honor in fact he drove he drove and you know the convoy met me in talinding sitting down when they were going and then in the morning we just heard of this announcement that there are young soldiers who took over the reign of power of this country i was part of the jubilant force we are so happy and there was indeed a new government in yes, place yes yes and this time the soldiers you know because uh, there are so many things that are tied to my celebration that are tied to my celebration of uh, the takeover and i could recall the same day i went to banjo the same day and from that day to date i'm in support with no change heart in any form I mean if I may ask I if you could remember I think it was very fragile when he just came 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 to power people they are thinking how long is this soldier going to last in power I mean when you were supporting do you have any doubt that he was not going to make it or he was going to make it no for us we for us at our level we don't have I don't have otherwise I would I would have you know do like how others did yeah, you know to hide and wait you know for the time to support so the wait and see game was no, still no no i don't do that i support from the beginning and i was i was there and ready for everything but how about lord mayor young kuba koli politically that time were you active during that time in in terms of politics yes, i was active in politics i you see i was active in politics since my school days and i was one of the youths of the oppositions i have even joined moja to go to nabi to go to nabi but then i was i was recruited by the mosaho yeah i could recall and there was a number given to me then 007 i could recall all that time so that shows you that yes i for us we are happy about the change because we are not happy with the force regime and now since the advent of the second republic how has politics been for the for the nation and for you has it been the same 
in terms of comparison? No, it is different because I could still recall. You know, uh, there was a time even in the First Republic when I was partly with PPP, partly with PPP because uh, I voted during the PPP time once and I voted for OJ. Yeah. Yes, and I voted for Silif Diba. I voted for OJ, I voted for Silif Diba. So that shows you that I was not fully, you know, uh, uh, you know, anything that I'm saying that I'm keeping fast. Mm -hmm. You know, I will not lie. Anything that I'm saying right now is, is reality. It's something that happens, you know. And uh, when you compare the two, there is, you cannot, you cannot, you can't put them together. I remember during those days, you know, the, the children will go to school, they, will ha they have to carry their tables, mm -hmm. they have to ask the parents to go and provide tables and cares for them. And when you are going to school, that's the time you carry your table and your care to the school. When you are closing, you carry them to go home. Double body. Right? And that is not happening now. Mm -hmm. And there are, if you check on education, you check on the schools that we are in this country then. There are most primary schools, yes, but less, you know, junior, secondary, or high schools. So you can see the difference. And there are a lot of things, uh, you know, you'll see somebody, you know, you know, like I'm the mayor of KMC, I'm preparing my son to come and take over. If not taking over, but I'm planning an office for him. So all those things happened during the Second Republic. Though we were very, very young during those days, but of course, yes, we know a little because at least I've started my employment during the Second Republic, the, the, the First Republic. So I should know at least uh, most of the things that uh, went wrong. And we were blacked out. Completely. Completely, because I could recall uh, I'm from Talinde. There was one Jere uh, again on the Talinde Highway. I think he was Jere Sise. I think he was one of the first people who were having this black and white television and all Senegal. The whole of us, uh, the, we, the young ones in Talinde, we'll just move to his house. And he'll put his television out for us to for us to watch Senegal, even though they are speaking French and we cannot hear, but we still listen to them. Just we are seeing image black and white. If there is rainy season, you don't see anything. Then there, then, then there was never a, the thought that the Gambia will have a television of its own. We'll sit down and think about that. No, in fact, that's why the uh, the PPP remains for a very long time. Because, yes, 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 because there was a complete political blackout. Completely. The only thing that you will hear is Radio Gambia. If you have another radio station, it's Radio Seed. Radio Seed was more of, not, not news, more of sporting and, 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 and advertisement radio station. And little, you, though you have some programs in it, but it does, they don't even involve in politics. Okay, then there are a few newspapers. The one that was, that most of us were looking at as more independent was Dixon College newspaper, The Nation. So you can see, then there was completely political blackout. There, you, you only think about, you know, the guy who is there, that's all. There was, no, there was no way that you could have the opportunity to think about the guy at the other side of the fence. I mean, then, then, then this brings me to the political discourse that is currently happening. When you look at the newspapers, when you look at the media, the print, the electronic media, then what will you qualify that as? I mean, in terms of democracy, is that not democracy? You see, uh, we have the best democracy in the world. I don't know how people are going to conceive it what I'm saying, but we have the best democracy, because we have the best type of election you can have anywhere in the world. And possibly I said, I would also, the others is, is, is only speculation that they voted for me or not. I can say, uh, you you are, you are, you voting you voting here, but 
And you said to me, I voted for you. And I said, no, it's not true. It happens one day. 